Well, hello everyone, and welcome back here to the Rune World. We pick up where we left off from the last episode. We've just defeated uh, the ship with the AI core. Fortunately, there wasn't much in the way of uh, a robot presence there because our defenses are still, well, let's say a bit lacking. Uh, so uh, hopefully we'll get a chance to deal with that today. But first of all, um, we still have a little bit left in the growing season. So I actually want to lay out some growing zones here now we have a big nice big space here and I want to make the most of it I think so we'll have uh, I think we'll make six growing zones here and I don't worry I'm not worrying so much about the sizes at the moment because I will tighten those up in a bit and we'll have the last one just do it like that yeah do it like that that's good Okay, and let's define what's being grown in them. So this one, I want some cotton. And this one, I want some strawberries. And this one, I want some zerdy gum. Get some basic uh, med medical uh, uh, packs made. In this one, we'll have some tomato. And this one... We'll have some lettuce, and in this one, we'll have some carrots. So there, that's going to uh, give us a nice range of crops, and that's... Actually, you know, looking at that, I think I find that whole thing quite aesthetic, aesthetically pleasing. I'll leave it as it is. And soon we'll have something to go with our potatoes, which is going to make everybody even happier. Well possibly except for Ben so Ben is still busy making these I think I'm going to cancel one of those now um, don't really think we needed three of them anyway that would, that would involve most of our colony using them at any one time and I don't think that's quite going to work out very well so some planting should be happening down here fairly soon Emmy is still doing her her walls. Ben is oh, it should be finishing that off this time now. In fact, because of that, let's lay this out. So we'll have some wooden beds because we now have plenty of wood. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So do that this. Uh, um, yep, I think that'll work. And we'll have a stockpile here, which I just want to. Uh, we'll make this one important, and I want it to just store medicine. And finally, let's get some lights in there. Uh, furniture, yep, standing lamps. So we'll have a standing lamp there and a standing lamp there. And once these beds are built, I'll turn them all into medical beds. And there we have a, a quick and dirty infirmary, which will probably do the job until this colony gets much, much larger. How's our research going on? Probably not doing that much at the moment because Clara's uh, a bit busy making meals all the time. We really need some more people. Uh, actually, I know what I think I'm going to do here. Emmy. Okay, I think I want to, let's lower the priority of crafting, so that'll happen after growing and mining, but before hauling and cleaning, yep, yeah, that works for me, because I think we've probably got enough bricks now, we've got space now where we can move these things, uh, we need to wire those lights up. Uh, okay, so that's that one there, power conduit. So I have a power conduit there and a power conduit there. 
And I think because that's been moved, let's put a whole thing order in there for that. There. And oh, before I forget, medical beds. That's more medical beds than we have colonists at the moment, but I'm sure we'd end up using them somewhere. It's Emmy's birthday today. She turned 38. And there is a slave trader passing by. We can't afford anything, but. Uh, Who is our warden? It is Emmy. Never remember that. I need to get a Stetson for her. Uh, it helps with the uh, the 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 social skills. Gives a fifteen percent bonus, but it also means it's very easy to tell who your your social person is. So right, uh, we can sell the medicine. That's all, and we can't afford anybody. So yeah, that was a, a bit of a waste of time, but never mind. And it looks like we're getting some carrots planted. Yes. Fully grown in 1.9 days of growth. They're going to grow quickly. That's great. All right. So how are we doing? They are doing actually pretty good. What's the temperature? The temperature outside is 18. That's frozen. And that's a pleasant 21, 22 degrees. And the bedrooms are quite nice as well. Right, that's quite good. Okay. We can get rid of these now. So we'll deconstruct these because we actually have a, an infirmary, a deep space miner. How do you mine deep space? Uh, I don't know. Yes, I know. I'm being deliberately obtuse. Hey, it's a hobby. Okay, how are we doing? Um, looking good. We have the infirmary in place. I think a crafting room would be good next. And if we do have, if we make a crafting room, we can probably expand that. But I think the first thing I want to do is I just want to build some stuff here. So structure, limestone conduit wall, like this. Okay, and we'll have so yes, yeah, just some ordinary wooden doors here and here that's great and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just make some power generation for here and while I'm thinking about it let's make oh stop let's make a let's make a limestone door And we'll put that there because uh, Mr. Roboto here, he decided that uh, he needed to get into the colony really fast. So get that built. Okay, that's looking good. We're on top of the power situation, that's perfectly fine. Okay, let's put in some mining orders for a crafting room. Like that. Group is visiting. We just say, oh. Alright, Lao. A chef. Just what we don't need. Character. Incapable of done labor or cleaning, not a problem. Um, good social, good cooking. Let's make ourselves a quick prison, which we shall do by converting one of these rooms. Set for prisoners. Actually, want to think about it. All things get this stuff out, and then who? Herdina, what are you up to? You're hauling wood. Why don't you go and invite Lao into the colony? Not entirely certain what the difference between arrest and capture is, but we'll do a capture this time. So hopefully we shall have a new person soon. Cremation finished. Excellent. And what should we do next? I think we want to do geothermal power next. 
um, some interesting extra research subjects thanks to the switch mold automatic power switch which is a motion detection power switch I think we'll use that to set off these uh, um, the the turrets in the kill zone and hidden power conduits which allow power conduits to be hidden but first now we shall do geothermal power research that see how we go there All right. it roofed off a bit there I don't want this area roofed off zone add no roof region oh, I see what it did let's just add that to the no roof region just to be on the safe side there we go right okay and we shall have built into here um, production yes let's have a limestone crem crematorium and yeah let's put it there that's going to be relatively easy to power and actually on that note let's do some power conduits we're going to need them later on anyway and if we do one there a few there let's do let's do one there for balance and one there for luck and we should put some solar power generators in there idea being here is that I'm going to divide the power generation the power generation for this colony is going to be separate from the power generation for the turrets and I will basically put in enough power generation that these turrets can function during the day and enough batteries so those turrets can function during the night and with that everyone should be happy and we're not going to have to turn off stuff in here and make people unhappy in order to in order to uh, defend the colony a little bit more complex that way but it'll work what are you you're a you're you're a hare you just look like a rabbit do we have stuff in here oh let's keep the hair just hope it doesn't eat too many of the carrots I'm thinking that how is our how does our garden grow tomatoes looks like we're getting close to the last crop of the year I perhaps should have done this a second earlier try to recruit friendly chat um, what state are you in Lao um, health okay no blood loss anymore you'll be alright we'll deal with any problems as they crop up afterwards but you're one of us now okay so how are we doing right that's being built looks like that is all coming together quite nicely crafting area is being mined out that's brilliant Lau's wandering around looking bored that's not so brilliant but only for Lau start to look a bit better okay if we can get the crops in before winter that would be marvelous if not no great loss we actually have plenty of food there should see us through uh, get all this built I still need to put uh, a solar power generator there and hopefully we'll have the geothermal uh, generator here as well which is going to make life a lot easier uh, there goes up the first solar power generator and yeah look at that that's got the uh, crematorium working so what we shall do now is we shall add a stockpile We'll put it there and we shall uh, storage clear all corpses and our buried corpses allow rotten corpses humanoid corpses strangers only 
and we'll make that one preferred which should trump this one which will trump this one now we get the, uh, the bodies moved in there and somebody will cremate them over time that'll do nicely the crematorium will only work during the day at the moment we'll put some batteries in later on but it's not going to drain the power from anything else so I'm perfectly comfortable with it being on all the time it can Emmy successfully recruited Lau then that was quick okay Lau your cooking is 10 oh, your warden is 10 your warden is 10 your cooking is 9 your cooking is 13 um, Mm. Splitting the warden job does not hurt. The construction for growing three, four for that. You can be our main crafter. Do it like that, and I think we'll actually get you to prioritize repairing. Yep, we'll do it like that. Right, and let's have a look at the gear you have on. So you have a shirt and trousers, that's fine. Um, only thing I can arm you with at the moment is a short bow, so you have that. Okay. I don't think this is quite working the way I want it to. Let's have a quick look at these bills again. In fact, oh, it's it's. I see. Do X times. Do it until you have. Do you know what? I'm getting bored with this now tried to be sophisticated with this but I don't think the rules are going to think the way that I think so we'll do this okay limestone or sandstone do until you have hundred and apparently we still have less than a hundred stone blocks Right, let's close that, but let's suspend that for now. I don't care what it says, we've got enough. Yeah, look at that, carrots, yeah! Marvellous! And we're going to have cabbages and carrots and all sorts of stuff to go with that. And I think actually while I'm thinking about it, Bills. Let's up the amount to be cooked. Still making simple meals. I think we're going to want to change that soon, but in order to do that, we're going to want a bit more hunting. And power. Let's get another solar power generator in here. And those have all been built. Cables have all been built. Um, I think we can remove some of this uh, planning now. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Yeah, that looks a bit better. And power. Battery, battery battery that'll help uh, put a buffer in there the corpses haven't been moved yet but that's not the end of the world uh, I think actually you know I'm getting a bit concerned that seem to be losing some food here so let's Get these things hunted.
Oh, that was close. Okay, marvellous. Good work there. Okay, so we should still we should get plenty of a crop in. Yeah, this is all. Look at those tomatoes. Yeah, what sort of fertilizer did he to make tomatoes that are a meter tall? Hee <laughs> hee. Right. Geothermal is being researched. This area is mined out. Let's get this stuff hauled. And let's put some doors in. I don't think we need limestone this time. Just good old fashioned wood will do. There and there. And get some power conduits in there as well. Need colonist beds. Oh, that was foolish of me. Set as non medical. Set for colonists. Okay, and set owner. Now. Ben's been looking at corpses again. You can always tell. No, he isn't. What's up with you this time, Ben? Oh, yeah, you yeah, have been looking at corpses. You've really got to kick that hobby, you know. Oh, that's why. Okay, all right. Okay. Let's start. Oh, we got so plenty of power in there. We got that. There's a dead body on the car lying on the ground. No way for colonists to take it. Okay, we got, I thought I did that. Oh. Great corpse. Okay, let's start this again. Great corpse. Um, infinite configure. Within that radius. And storage, allow buried corpses, humanoid corpses, allow strange. Ah, uh, there we go. All the important extra tick. Yeah, that should sort itself out now. That needs to get moved up and cremated. A group of hungry alpha beavers have just arrived. Oh, they're very close, actually. Um, right. Let's get some hunting done, then. You guys are going into the pot. Oh, we missed one. There we go. Bit of a walk for Hadina, but she enjoys it, really. Uh, uh, ben is getting rid of his corpse problem. Good man. Good man, Ben. Actually, let's cancel hunting the deer. Uh, let's actually concentrate on the beavers because they are clearing the area fast, aren't they? Not that it matters. They can't do anything in here. And I think... To be totally honest with you, we've got enough trees to be going with. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, that's going well. Right, let's uh, lay this room out, shall we? So, get some lights. And the production we want. I really want a tailor's workbench. And I think we'll put it there. And we'll have a smithing bench, which we shall put. Uh, nicely timed moving a standard sandstone trunk there. We'll have that there. And we already have a stone. 
one of those. We will have a tool construction bench, which we shall put there. And this visiting for the economy, a bulk goods trader. Emmy, my dear, would you kindly? Thank you. Okay, uh, we can actually sound some stuff to this guy. All right. Um, uh, I thought we had more than 100. Let's get rid of all those sandstone blocks. Uh, that will make us a little bit of money. Not a huge amount. Because they only go for 60 cents each. And I'm sure that will go eventually. Yep. Not really much use for one squirrel kit skin or D2 hair leather. They can have those. Um, elk hide or beaver skin. Let's sell the elk hide. That's good. Have you got anything that we want? The answer to that is yes, but to be honest with you, nothing we can really afford. So, I think, actually I think what we'll do is we shall buy in a bit of steel. So, no, oh. just want to get down to 300, like that. Okay, right. So that's got us a bit more steel, we're selling off some stuff, we're getting rid of some space and we're getting 300 silver as well, that's a, a, a fairly nice deal. Okay, I'm happy with that. We're getting these benches done. Looks like we're going to have to start tunnelling around here again soon. But that was going to happen anyway. Probably do that in the next episode. This is chugging along nicely. And we're just about to be attacked. They'll be attacking immediately, but they'll be attacking immediately. I think in the next episode. So, I think we'll leave it there, guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. I certainly have. I've been Simon Parsons. This has been The Room World. Thank you, and good night.